today is a request video requested to me by a commenter so here's how you make a custom countdown timer for iMovie this is gonna be a quick video so you click on new document on keynote obviously and you select any color you remove all your text change the background color to green so this is important and then add in text so here it's going to be 0059 because this was supposed to be a one hour timer but i'm just going to make it 10 seconds long turn it to black you know what i'm going to make it 13 seconds long and then change it to around 50 that's nice i'm going to turn it light so you can do whatever you want with your text doesn't really matter so this is where you make your timer my timer looks something like this right next what I'm gonna do is left click copy and keep pasting so I'm gonna paste 13 slides because this is a 13 second long timer and if your timer is like one hour long you don't need to pay 60 slides you can make 10 slides of 50, 9, 50 seconds make another 10 slides of 40 seconds in different different presentations because what i'm going to do here is not exporting so here i'm going to edit it to 12. it's going to take some time to edit this because you know you don't really get to make custom timers that easily so you got to have some patience which I have a lot of there you go I've written all the text now what I would do is just export this right but it's gonna take some time if you're exporting a wrong timer so here's how, what you do click on command A you've selected all the slides head over to animate Start transition automatically and type in one second there you go now what you do is shift command 5 and you get this option to record your screen so right now I'm using the Mac screen recorder to record my screen but you can click on record screen and then start recording here and once you've done that you're just gonna have to play your presentation and now it's exactly one second later that the slide changes. So now I head over to iMovie. I have the movie open and I import my timer and also, you know, my other clip. So now I'm gonna cut off my edges where the timer, instead of the timer, it started showing the keynote and then I'm gonna pull my timer sorry pull my timer drag it on top of this so that's not happening right now why is that not happening yep there you go drag it and place it on top of your main clip so my main clip is a lot smaller than my timer I'm gonna change it slow it down a bit just making it perfect and now head over to crop and make sure your cropping is good so what you want to do here is make sure that these are just text this is text on a green background and there's no black bars visible and now head over to overlay settings green blue screen and so I've made a mistake here by making my text black in color. So I'm gonna fix my mistake quick and easy there. There it is, so I fixed my mistake. And there it is, the timer is done. And after you follow this tutorial properly, your timer will look something like this. Thank you for watching this video 
leave a comment down below um, to get a shout out in one of the videos so the comment you leave down below can be a question for stuff you can do on iMovie or stuff you can do on your PC or Mac device so subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'm also doing Windows tutorials now so that's an update and yeah like this video if you found this helpful if you have any questions as i said leave a comment down below thank you for choosing shit the cherry light 